Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this session we shall be understanding sudo. sudo is a command that is required to run a program as a different user. This is required in some of the cases in which, uh, for example, let us consider a case that a user is required to reboot the machine. One option is we could add suid bit to that particular program has been reboot and it could be used by any of the users but in this case we don't have any restriction it means any normal user will be able to reboot that machine so the second option is we could allow a different user or a set of users to reboot the machine so that can be done by sudo if I am a user A and I want to run any command becoming a user B because user A is not allowed to run that command so that can be done through sudoers so sudo is that program and the configuration file associated is slash etc sudoers Linux says that it should not be edited directly because we may lead to the corruption of the file so it has provided us a command which is vi sudo which can be used to edit this file and in case we have some wrong modification to the file it will display us that this is the wrong thing w that we have done and we need to edit it or we need to modify the detail for example let's consider the case in which I have removed equal to from here I'll just write I'll quit it'll say that there is some error in line 106 what should be done we will just press E to edit it and we will correct it by replacing equal to over here we'll write and we'll quit now the things were okay so we were able to edit it okay that's fine so let's start understanding how slash etc slash sudoers st stores these details so it allows a specific user to run a command becoming a different user user a can become user b and run a command user a can become a user c and run a different command in the same case user a can become root and run a different command so it says it must be edited with vi sudo so the format of slash etc sudoers is like this the first column is user alias or username or group name we can create different user aliases for example we create a user alias admins so it will consist of all the administrators corresponding to this machine or corresponding to our uh, network and we could allow these users admin to run specific commands becoming different users so we don't have to create two lines corresponding to these two users in the same case we can have 10 admins placed in the same row we will create a user alias and all those uh, rules will be applicable to all these 10 users in a single line so that is why we use user alias so this is a set of users or a group of users so first column can be user alias or it can be a single username or it can be percentage group name so percentage group name is used in case the group name is an ordinary group and it could be seen in slash etc slash group the second column is host alias or the host name or it could be capital A L L which simply means from any of the host so second column states from which machine is the user allowed to run this command 
for example it could be a local host it could be a station number for example station 9 in that case user will be able to run that command only from station 9 not from station 10 this is very useful in case we have pseudo database placed on an LDAP server so we can assign different users to control different machines and to run different commands on different machines we'll see it later when we will be configuring LDAP server the third section after equal to is run as so it could have a value capital ALL which simply means that this user this user XYZ can run a command becoming this user for example is uh, uh, let's see an example in which user A wants to run a command from station 9 becoming a user B and wants to run a command as bin if config or this could be a set of commands uh, which uh, can be written having comma in between so the second question that comes in mind is why is no password for in case any user is running a command using sudo he will be asked to enter a password and by password we mean the password of the user that is using sudo for example a user A is trying to run a command becoming user B he is not required to know the password of user B he knows only his password and that password will be asked to run this command so let's have a look at the example of host aliases host alias is a group of hosts so if we want a user to run a command on multiple hosts as a pseudo so we can specify host alias so it uh, instead of writing multiple lines for uh, these host names it could be a single line specifying all these hosts cmnd alias here we are creating an alias corresponding to a command for example we have created a command alias networking it consists of all the commands associated with networking for example addition of a root changing of IP address using if config to ping to use DHC client to receive the DHCP uh, IP address details from DHCP server net and there are uh, the complete set of networking commands the same is what he is doing with software the command alias has been created and he can use bin rpm to install a package to update a package to remove a package up to date and yum the same is with services so th if we are using services corresponding to any of a rule all these commands will be allowed he'll be able to stop start service he'll be able to switch on or switch off a service for locate he'll be able to update db so let's come to this command what does it mean it means that the user root so it's applicable only to the user root second is all means from any host from any host it is able to run the command which commands all means it is able to run any command what does this mean this means run as all which simply states that user root can use sudo to run any command becoming any user okay let's come to this percentage v so what it means it means that all the users under the group v can run all the commands becoming any user from any host 
now this was the theory about it let's try to implement some rules login into the machine so right now I see that uh, let's clear it it is asking me for the password this is the password corresponding to my user Arziva from which I have logged in so every user knows his password it says user is not in sudoers file so he cannot run any of the command as sudoers ok let's allow the user to run any command we'll type vi sudo add a new line rcval from all the hosts becoming any user and running all the commands this is the simplest rule that we could add here you you are able to run it because there is a rule present in Sudoers, you will be run able to run F disk. In the same way, you are able to run any command becoming a root. So this has some drawbacks. He can have access to the shell and he can run any commands. If we want to restrict the user to run only specific commands so that could be done again using vi sudo and instead of all the commands he is required to run only these two commands as been if config and has been f disk we have saved it we have come out of it now f disk i am able to run if config i am able to run what if i try to run yum list it says that user rcval is not allowed to execute yum list because we didn't allow him to run this command one thing that we have noted is every time we are asked for a password let's tell via sudo or sudoers file not to ask passwords so now we can run any command becoming any user uh, these commands sorry only these commands becoming any user and we won't be asked for password here you can see that it's not asking me for the password 